Okay, okay, so the trailer just dropped for Hell of a Boss, like the whole season, and I feel like I need to talk about it again or I'll die. Also, the first video was a joke, so. Time, time after time, it's all the same. Life goes on. Hell of a Boss has quickly become one of my favorite things on the internet. When episode 2 dropped, I could not stop watching it. I have this habit where I keep going back to specific YouTube videos and rewatch them over and over again for quick serotonin, or for my brain to just be temporarily distracted. I basically have a monkey brain. Hell of a Boss episode 2 was one of them for two weeks. I also couldn't get enough of Stolas' lullaby in the beginning. If I want to be honest, I cried to it about six separate times. I treated the lullaby like middle school girls treated the Twilight series. Deadass. He's so bad. Why can't I be him? Why- Why can't I be him? Fuck! This episode hit different on so many levels. Even if it's supposed to be just a funny animated adult cartoon to people, it just does. Specifically here. You need to understand, your mother and I, I just- I felt- She's always been- I haven't been- We weren't in- I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have the words. Toxic relationships suck, man. I can tell you from experience. And I couldn't even imagine being locked in a 15 plus year marriage where you're both mutually unhappy. Damn, ho, that sucks. I also felt the level of relation with Octavia. I mean, I'm a sucker for characters that are just pissy all the time but soft at the bottom. You'll know this later. But dealing with their parents having an abusive relationship and learning how to cope just hits home. This was actually captured really well. And also, this clown is bad with an H, by the way. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I think I might have a thing for motherfuckers that'll kill me, or... Listen, I'm no critic. I just like to express my opinion and thoughts like a spotlight in a dark alley. I mean, I don't know how to review media that isn't music. I've talked about this many times before, but I really just like to turn shit on, sit back, and smile. I'm really simple. You could take everything I have away and leave me with nothing but a bed. As long as I'm not stressed out in that moment, which I am most of the time, I'll be completely okay. So I take away any common criticisms or bugs with animation because I literally just don't see it. My eyes closed, hands out. Like I said, I'm easily satisfied. I can watch the same thing on repeat for six hours and I will be happy. So when the pilot dropped, least to say I was interested. Mentioning Invader Zim as a voice actor and getting to hear him say fuck and starring plus co-written by Brandon Rogers was an instant awooga for me. Oh, I immediately fell in love with this character. Yes, her design may be a bit attractive, but I'm just in love with the character itself. The pilot itself was alright though. It seemed interesting. Fresh. Something we haven't had before. A new wave of creativity that we don't really have on YouTube now. Or maybe I'm just missing out. Let me know. But there isn't much in this culture of the internet that I'm interested in. So when I'm finally greeted with shit like this, I cry tears of joy. Finally finding something that I can go, hey, I like this. Like I said, the pilot was all right. It wasn't anything insane, but it seemed cool. The concept is great. It's enjoyable. A cast of characters everyone can mock about. Yes, even those motherfuckers who go, where, where, Furby character, and they have a seizure. Sorry, Craig, get used to it. Anthros have been in the mainstream for decades. But what I love most about things like this is the way you can share things with each other. Comics, fan art, original music, fucking IG fan pages. I've always been indulged in fandoms like this. The brony community avid in the early 10s, a music there, smacked. Don't even get me started about FNAF's music either. And on this side of the internet once more, literally everything about Undertale I was tapped into. Don't get me wrong, I'm not comparing Hell of a Boss to these things. I'm just giving an example of United Art Communities and how enjoyable it is. Vivzy Pop and her crew are doing something dope here. I said this in my Has Been Hotel video, but I admire so much the way they're just a bunch of independent animators who made their dreams come true. That's a champagne taste in itself. Hell of a Boss got levels to it. All three episodes, including the pilot, smack. My favorite one is definitely Lululand and everything about it. Unfortunately, I don't remember much about Murder Family, but it was pretty cool. Just the concept of Hell of a Boss itself has to be a main interest of mine, oh god. And I will live with the fact that it's better than Has Been Hotel until I die. Octavia and Luna are two characters I can just find myself into, and Stolas is a character that I also love dearly. And this hairstyle is eventually gonna make me act up. I love Hell of a Boss and I'm glad I have the ability to express my love for things like this when I rarely find interest in certain fandoms. So when it happens, it hits like a motherfucker. I love this, I love you, and have a good night from yours truly. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign. Everything will be okay. 
and 